In this lesson, you will learn how to convert linear equations from point slope form to standard form. Let's quickly review these two forms of linear equations. In point slope form, m represents the slope and x1, y1 represents a point on the line. In standard form, a, b and c are integers and a should be positive. Now, let's go through our examples to see how to make this conversion. The first step is to distribute the slope to each term inside the parentheses. So in this example, distribute the 3. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 2 gives us 6. Notice that in standard form, the variable terms are on the left side, and the constant is on the right side. So, our next step is to collect the variable terms on the left side of the equation, and the constants on the right side of the equation. Subtract 3x from both sides to collect the variable terms on the left side. Add 1 to both sides to collect the constants on the right side. On the left, these cancel, leaving negative 3x plus y. On the right, these cancel, leaving 6 plus 1, which equals 7. Remember, in standard form, the coefficient of x should be positive, but here it is negative. To make it positive, multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. Multiplying by negative 1 simply changes the sign of each term. That's it, this is the equation in standard form. Now, let's move on to the second example with a negative slope. Feel free to pause the video and give it a try. First, distribute the slope. Negative 2 times negative 8 is 16, right? Next, add 2x to both sides to collect the variable terms on the left and subtract 5 from both sides to collect the constants on the right. On the left, these cancel, leaving 2x plus y. On the right, these cancel, leaving 16 minus 5, which equals 11. Finally, check that if the coefficient of x is positive, here it is positive 2, so there is no need to multiply by negative 1. So your equation is in standard form. To convert from point slope form to slope intercept form, check the link in the description. But first, let's work on a couple of examples that involve fractions. In this case, first eliminate the fraction. To do this, multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator of the fraction. So here, multiply by 4. On the left, distribute the 4. On the right, the 4s cancel, leaving 3 times x minus 10. Next, distribute the 3. Then, subtract 3x from both sides and add 28 to both sides. On the left, these cancel, leaving negative 3x plus 4y. On the right, these cancel, leaving negative 30 plus 28, which equals negative 2, right? Finally, make the x coefficient positive by multiplying both sides of the equation by negative 1. Just change the sign of each term. Your equation is now in standard form. Now, it is your turn. Pause the video and give it a try. First, eliminate the fraction by multiplying both sides of the equation by 5. On the left, distribute the 5. On the right, the 5s cancel, leaving negative 2 times x plus 6. Next, distribute the negative 2. Then, add 2x to both sides and subtract 20 from both sides. On the left, these cancel, leaving 2x plus 5y. On the right, these cancel, leaving negative 12 minus 20, which equals negative 32, right? The coefficient of x is already positive, so this is your equation in standard form. If you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments. For more lessons on linear equations, check the links in the description. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.